Hello guys, welcome to the Mainframe Grow YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss Rex programming in Mainframe and what are the built-in function in Rex. Uh, what is Rex? Uh, Rex is a restructured extended executive language and uh, what are the main function of Rex? Automating repetitive manual task and interacting with the dialogue manager like panel skeleton and uh, it creates new command also like if you want to call one element or any element from any library okay then using rex you can create that command to call any element from any library as well it is uses for personal programming task as well it pass commands to TSO or TSO ISPF session and what are the feature of Rex it is a free format language Rex is an interpreted language rather than a compiled language okay as a result no need to compile and link edit a Rex exec module before using it instead the interpreter reads and interprets the instruction in your exec one at a time and it has convenient convenient built-in function available debugging capability is also available in rex now first rex built-in function is copies this is a rex built-in function and what it say here say is a rex instruction which display which display the in data onto the terminal like we this copy uh, function is used to copy like there is one state one string or one character if you want to copy it multiple time you can do through copies function like if you will give here to it will it will make its double IBM IBM okay if you will give here zero it will not display anything means it will display only blank line if you will give here three it will display three time IBM IBM okay next Rex built-in function is uh, written num if a valid number otherwise written character say data type IBM okay it's in inverted comma so it will display care okay and say data type 1 2 3 4 it is a number so it will come num okay and say data type a 001 it is uh, it will display character and say display inverted comma a2 it is display num so our output will be this okay and now rex built-in function return one if string correspond to type otherwise zero like ibm ibm is alphabetic or not so it will yes it is alphabetic so it will dis display one the one two three four n it is a number or not then yes it is number so it will display one and it is a whole number or not so it will display one 12 and 34 it is a whole number not no it is not so it will display 0 and a 0 0 1 is uppercase no it is not uppercase so it will display 0 a b c d is it lowercase no it will display 0 so you can check the different type of type along with definition here and rex built-in function returns current date in format 12 November 2019 like there is a uh, date uh, in will function it will display current date 10 November 2000 like 9 and if here is W W means uh, name of the weekday current weekday like it is a Tuesday and uh, say date U U means it will display USA date format my DD no sorry MMDDYY and M 
एंड मीन्स इट इट विल डिस्प्ले नेम ऑफ द मंथ मीन्स इट इज ए नवम्बर ओके एंड जे फॉर जूलियन सो इट विल डिस्प्ले जूलियन डेटा जूलियन डेट एंड ई ई फॉर यूरोप यूरोपियन डेट सो इट विल डिस्प्ले यूरोपियन डेट लाइक डी डी एम एम वाई वाई एंड डी इज यूज फॉर डे नंबर ऑफ डे सो फार फास्ट दिस ईयर ओके एंड सी मीन्स सेंचुरी नंबर ऑफ डे सो फार दिस ईयर नो 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 इट्स ए सेंचुरी नंबर ऑफ डे इन दिस सेंचुरी टू टिल नाउ एंड डेट वी इट इज ए नंबर ऑफ कंप्लीट डेट फ्रॉम जैन वन नी टू दर वन ओके रेक्स बिल्ट इन फंक्शन डिलीट करेक्टर्स फ्रॉम स्ट्रिंग बिगनिंग एट दी स्टार्ट कैर फॉर ए गिवन लेंथ लाइक यू हैव दिस इन बिल्ट फंक्शन डी एल एस टी आर एंड यू हैव दिस स्ट्रिंग यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट फ्रॉम बी टू स्पेस सो यू कैन गिव लाइक टू फ्रॉम टू यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट एंड लेंथ सो इट विल डिस्प्ले आई चेन्नई एंड रेक्स इन बिल्ट फंक्शन डिलीट वर्ड फ्रॉम स्ट्रिंग बिगनिंग एट स्टार्ट वर्ड लाइक देर इज सी डेल वर्ड आई बी एम चेन्नई बेंगलोर डेली इट इज ए स्ट्रिंग लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीट फ्रॉम दी थर्ड वर्ड ऑन वर्ड सो इट विल डिलीट दिस एंड इट विल डिस्प्ले दैन दिस ओनली आई बी एम चेन्नई रेक्स कमांड पी जी एम वर्किंग लाइक लिस्ट कैट इफ यू विल यूज लिस्ट कैट वट इट विल डू एंड यू हैव ऑल्सो सी आर सी दिस विल सो ऑल द कैटालॉग डेटा सेट स्टार्ट विद योर आई डी एंड रिटर्न कोड जीरो इन लास्ट लाइक यू आर रनिंग दिस रेक्स कमांड ऑन टू ऑन टू दिस आई डी सो इट विल डिस्प्ले ऑल द डेटा सेट स्टार्ट विद योर आई डी एंड इन लास्ट इट विल रिटर्न योर आर सी रिटर्न कोड जीरो एंड नेक्स्ट इज लाइक से एंटर नेम एंड देन लाइक पार्स फुल फर्स्ट नेम एंड लास्ट नेम से फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम एग्जिट सो पार्स विल कीप द रिजल्ट सेम इफ यू एंटर इन लोअर केस एज वेल लाइक इफ यू हैव एंटर्ड दिस लाइक मुकेश मुकेश त्यागी ओके इट विल डिस्प्ले इन दिस मीन्स केस सेंसिटिव ओनली लाइक इट इज इट इज इन लोअर केस सो इट विल डिस्प्ले हेयर लाइक मुकेश त्यागी इफ यू विल नॉट राइट दिस पार्स वट इट विल डू इट विल इट विल मेक दैम इन अपर केस एंड राइट दैम ओके सो इफ आई विल नॉट राइट दिस सो इट विल डिस्प्ले दिस and like parse value this is a tutorial with word 1 word 2 word 3 word 4 and you want to print like word 1 word 2 word 3 word 4 so what will it do it will assign this value I mean it will split the value like uh, split the string you can say parse function is used in racks to take a string value and then break them down into words like this this will come in word 1 and is will come word 2 and a will come word 3 tutorial will come in word 4 so its output is this and rex for concatenation like uh, we have one variable person here it has value mf like hello without space person so it will display hello mf hello uh, space and person so it will display hello space mf and you can concatenate with pipe as well hello uh, person variable name so it will display hello mf hello and like there is uh, if you are giving string bow string you can uh, display also in this here and if there is space in this string hello person so it will display hello person space like there is next next rex execution enter student name like uh, pull is used for input the data okay so like we have entered mukesh name okay and uh, it's saying enter student marks so like pull through pull full we enter uh, marks it's 120 and 
and if it will check is is it greater than hundreds yes so it will display student student name mukesh mukesh and select it okay and uh, next rex uh, program is like we have a variable which have five value b variable which have five value if they are equal then what they will do it will execute this statement okay and it 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 answer will be a is equal and then it will subtract from uh, five minus one and it will assign to a four and then say high will be printed and uh, next is like uh, select when statement like enter day you have enter day full day two and select when you have enter like two so it will display happy happy tuesday okay and like if you have entered you have uh, you have entered like six so it will display nothing okay Uh, like uh, say two uh, divided by three display point six 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 seven nine digit numeric digits fifteen uh, k equal to uh, like if if you are you will you are dividing two by three so it will display only nine digit if you want it fin up to fifteen digit so you you have to give numeric digit fifteen like two by three so it will display up to fifteen digit here this division result. and uh, we uh, if you uh, want for loop in relax you can use this as well like i is equal to 1 do forever say i is i is concatenated concatenated i i plus 1 if i is greater than 10 it will leave the loop and after that it will end of the program so like if there is it will end of the loop and exit is used for uh, from exit of the program it is by if you do, do not append this or you will not write this uh, it will be fine no problem so it will display like i is 1 2 10 and in last end of program rex uh, do i co like if you want to display multiplication table like do uh, 5 to 12 and see and i 1 to 10 so like it will display multiplication table of 5 and multiplication table of six and then like uh, first five will come and it will read right here five so five will come and then then there the dash will come and then that the display uh, table 10 and uh, multiplication table of then six will come and it will display continue and it will continue up to 12 and uh, display only odd number so do i 1 to 20 if i Divide by two is equal to uh, zero. Then it will iterate. Otherwise, it will display odd number like one, two, three, one, two, one, three, five, seven, and nine. And uh, you can use uh, loop like this also. Do until i greater than ten. Say i is i, and i i plus one. Here it will increase. So it will print this. and you can also use do while also in a same way and result will be same this like this and uh, like uh, there is another function uh, say before function called and my sub uh, we have used like sub routine so it will go here and uh, num1 num2 and it will add and say it will it will display 30 and return like before function called this and 30 will be written there and then i am in the main program okay then answer in main is 30 okay it will display like this and uh, like say before function called you have num num 10 num 2 if you want to pass some value from here you are here uh, main main means main program num 1 num 2 to uh, this subroutine so you can pass like this num1 num2 then uh, like it, it it went here and it it has uh, some this 
and say total uh, answer is this and return answer i am in main again result is answer so result will be 30 uh, rex function and subroutine uh, like you have you can call also subroutine add mup you have passed one to value invoke as subroutine then it will go here you need to give argument value then okay num1 num2 so it will add there and uh, return answer so there like it will display result 3 okay and uh, then num1 num1 you have given so num1 will also come 1 okay and in this add map you can you can uh, send like this also 1 to add e add e m u v p okay invoke as a function so it will go here 1 and 2 value so it will this and it will display 3 and here uh, call admep 1 2 okay procedure Wh why we use here procedure in subroutine preventing sharing the variable like you can't use num1 and num2 above okay uh, like uh, we have passed 1 and 2 there then it will uh, 3 then it will return 3 only so it will display 3 like this result will come I mean num1 and num2 its value will not come here okay because we have written procedure and uh, next is call ad mup 1 comma 2 okay then like uh, we want to uh, share only num1 only so we can give expose num1 okay then num1 and num2 here will come 1 2 then it will uh, add 1 plus 2 3 3 and return this and result will come 3 and num1 will come display 1 and num2 will come display num2 and uh, and so result will be this and uh, like a uh, num1 uh, you have written like 1 and num2 and call rex2 num1 num2 so it will like you have written uh, separately one rex program then you need to argument num1 and num2 so like you have then uh, some you have add the value and return answer so it will display 3 1 2 like it it has been display here and uh, like uh, rex2 uh, uh, rex2 you are calling a separate program num1 and num2 are not passed from sub program you have not means uh, they are not passed from sub program so say result for this we need to use ispf variable like you want to pass into your sub program so you can give i address ispx exec you can like you want to put from subroutine to main main program so you can give this thank you guys uh, please subscribe the channel and like the video